Hey guys, listen, there's been some pretty great discoveries within Circle of the Moon over the past few days. We have effectively discovered nuclear radiation, where I can just walk forward and things die. Now, with that in mind, how do you get it to work? Well, I can't tell you the specifics on how it works, I'm not very um, savvy about that kind of stuff. But we at least have a setup on how to get it to work, you know? First thing to note, this needs to be on the US version. The setup and how it may work on the Japanese version is completely different. We haven't really discovered if it can be done well on the Japanese version, so for now, just um, use the US version. I also want to shout out Richter fans, Bone Crusher, Algorithm, Jupiter Climb, Mal whole bunch of people in the Discord, the Circle of the Moon Discord, that put time into discovering and refining the nuclear radiation and all sorts of nonsense with this trick. Alright, so our first step to setting up nuclear radiation is we need to, I'll demonstrate by freezing the skeleton. And from here, the first step to nuclear radiation is to use the quick draw spell and have the platform beneath us disappear, either by the monster thawing out, you could use a Kremel platform, or even with a bone float. As you can see, the ring is still expanding from the quick draw, even though um, I'm no longer holding the attack button down. And this is the first step to activating nuclear radiation. The next step is we're going to come down here. We need to combine the imp charge attack along with this quick draw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to summon the Imp Familiar, and I'm going to hold the attack button during the DSS activation. That's going to charge, begin charging the attack. I'm going to walk through the screen transition here. You can see that there's like a pulsing charge effect for the Imp's attack. We need to charge it to a certain point, and then interrupt it. Right now it's on its second pulse, so I'm going to advance forward to the fourth pulse. There's a specific frame there that I need to use for the setup. Three, four. It's on this frame. You can also use the next frame as well to begin the setup. On this frame, I'm going to let go of the B button, the attack button, and press jump for one frame. I'll advance one frame with jump held down. And then on this frame, <clears throat> I began holding down jump and attack, and I just let the game move forward for a little while. Now that Nathan is beginning to fall, we're going to continue holding the face buttons. And on this frame, as Nathan's body is completely um, covered up by the orb attack, the orb there, and his head is about to fall into it as well. We'll release jump and whip, basically release the face buttons, and I'm going to hold forward to go through the screen transition. And this will set up the, the nuclear attack. I'm going to cancel the imp and spin, and this will stabilize the radiation as well. And as you can see, things are dying off screen before it can even reach them. So. In the description, I'll have um, links to the frames that you need to pay attention to, to like know how to set up the nuclear radiation. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can also set, a, set it up, the quick draw at least, from a bone float, which you can do immediately at the beginning of the game, right as you gain control of Nathan. I'm going to line up with a pixel here. I know which pixel it is because Nathan's knee is like next to this green pixel. Again, I'll have a link in the description for what the frame or what the pixels look like. And at this point, switch to skeleton and with uh, Pluto and Black Dog. And we're gonna do a short hop. You can time it if you want, or you can buffer it. Just one frame and then just as the skeleton's feet come down to here, when it's reaching that roundish stone near the bottom, where you're going to land, hold forward, press B, and we're floating. Now we can go to the quick draw spell once more, 
and just hold the attack button for a little while and see how the ring is expanding again. We can once again use Saturn and Black Dog for the imp familiar. I'm gonna come down to the bottom here. Now the screen transition is important to setting up the radiation. I'm not personally, I'm not sure why, but it is. I'm gonna activate the imp again with DSS and I'm gonna hold the attack button while the activation is going. Go through the screen. One, two, three. This is the fourth pulse of the attack, so I'm gonna buffer ahead slowly so you can kind of see what it looks like. Again, this is the, this is the first frame that you can start this on. The next frame will also do. Let go of attack and hold down jump, buffer one frame. Hold down jump and attack and let the game move forward for a little while. As Nathan's falling here, I think I only need to buffer one more frame. Yeah, this is the correct one. Let go of the phase buttons and push through, push left, hold left to push through the screen transition. Disable your imp, spin the whip, and you set up the radiation. This is pretty amazing. What it does is it lets us at least for like magician all bosses and like say completionists, we don't have to work for killing anything. <laughs> there is a separate nuke, a manual nuke. We basically did the 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 nuke, which is the the, the strongest attack combination with quick draw and the imp, and we just interrupted it, which lets us cause the radiation. But there's a separate kind of way to set this up that doesn't cause radiation, as you might expect. Um, that's used for the final Dracula fight. But that's for like a separate video. As for this one, it's just to set up the, the radiation that is incredibly powerful. That lets you walk and cause death. In any case, I hope that helped. I hope you enjoy. And I look forward to seeing more of y'all learn to run this game and destroy everything. Because it's easier than ever. <laughs>